Hey guys, welcome to a very special episode here on Horror Show Host. Today, I am going to be taking a look at my entire paperback collection, and you will be able to see every book I have. So, this is a copy of Paperbacks from Hell that I have, and uh, I have a little game to play. Whoever can guess how many books I have will get a shout out in my next book review. So, or whoever can count as much, as many books as I have, or count how many books I have, because there's a lot. So let's get started. But before we get into it, make sure to comment on, like, and share this video, as well as hit the notification bell to be updated every time I make a new video. Like my Facebook fan page and support me on Patreon, even a dollar a month will go a long way. The links to those two sites will be in the description below, and as always, subscribe. Alright, let's get into this. Alright, so I'd like to start off with some magazines that I have. I got this one for my birthday a few years ago, it's... The Jurassic Park Fangoria Magazine Edition, or Jurassic Park Edition, I'm sorry. And uh, it's beautiful. It has a Bloodstone Subspecies 2 ad on the back, which is awesome. And then I got this, which is a 1988 edition of Fangoria. I got it with another item, which also came with a few other items that I ordered, which was expensive. And I'll come to that soon. Then I have a Jurassic Park Edition of Newsweek, which is always fun. Then I have the Sharkist, uh, no, sorry, Shark Movie Mania, which has a bunch of shark movies in it, like old uh, shark movies from like the 70s and onward. It's really cool. I'm happy to have that, even though I probably know all of the shark movies that are in it. Uh, then I got this one from Scream Magazine when I did a promotion video for them on my other channel way back when. Might have been their first edition, actually, or second. Then I got these. These are Spanish lobby cards, or uh, something like that, for Friday the 13th. I'll do a more in-depth review of that soon. Now let's start off with what I have over here. These are all in alphabetical order, which is really nice. Let's zoom in a little bit. Alright, so we have the Stephen King Dark Tower Trilogy. No, sorry, not Trilogy, Set, which is very expensive, and I've only read the first one. Call it, a, call it a waste, if you will. And down here I have the five Valencourt book releasings of the Paperbacks from Hell editions they released. But you're going to have a second wave of that, which is really cool. Then I have 30, day, 30 Days of Night, the entire series. Um, I'll go through all these one by one, actually, but I'll skip the Valencourt releasing books because I'm reviewing those all. The first 30 Days of Night, uh, 30 Days of Night, Immortal Remains, 30 Days of Night, Eternal Devastation, 30 Days of Night, Light of Day, 30 Days of Night, Rumors of the Undead. I'm going to show you my mess over there. I'm holding the camera a certain way. Yeah, I've been working cleaning on my room, and it's been hell. But I've gotten a lot of it done. That's why I'm doing this. 30 Days of Night, Fear of the Dark, and that's the entire novel series of that. Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. Now we're getting into the old stuff. Accursed, or The Accursed. I found this at a bookshop, actually. Uh, Annie's bookshop. I interviewed her, actually. i got to re-upload that to this channel. Now let's go down a little bit more. We have Alligator by Shelley Katz, which I showcased on Library Macabre. A friend of mine, Cameron Chaney, actually runs that page, and he had pictures of the book, and I had a different picture, so I submitted it. Amazon by Peter Brenchley. Got to be very careful. I don't want to break these books. Uh, the Amityville Horror by Jay Asin. Anson, I'm sorry. This is going to be a challenge, man. i got to get this done quick. I have also the second Amityville Horror right here. Try and get it out without taking out the other book. Really bad condition, but it has... I forget what they call these. I always call them gateful, but I know I'm wrong. It has that neat little 
inside the picture thing. I have to look it up. I found out what it was and I forgot. The Ancient Enemy, which I have no idea what it's about. This is a macabre tale of horror and that make, means I'm in. I think I know what this one is. Yep. Ants by Peter Tremaine. You'll see his name pop up a few times in this video. April Evil, which is something. It has an interesting cover for sure. Looks more like a thriller, but oh well. Uh, the Bazard of, Sm of Bad Dreams by Stephen King. Look at the size of that. Nothing compared to some of the other books I have. Like when I do the hardcover edition of this video. Else. Oh, the Beast by Peter Benchley, which is actually um, on this list, besides the Valancourt releasing books, is the first one I read in this video, which is it's a pretty good book. I like the movie better, actually. Uh, Between the Devil and the Deep, which was hard to track down on Amazon for a good price and good condition. Uh, now we're moving down. I'm going to go through these really quick because there's a lot. Alien. I have uh, the re-release of Alien. Uh, Aliens. Alien 3. Alien Resurrection. Sorry, flipping off. <laughs> uh, Alien Origins. Alien Covenant. Alien vs. Predator. Uh, these, this trilogy of Alien books, I believe it goes Out of the Shadows, Sea of Sorrows, and River of Pain. I'm pretty sure. Here we have a good, actually really good book called Below, which I'm a huge fan of Ryan Lockwood's writing. I wish he wrote more, to be honest. I think I have to zoom out here. Oh, that makes sense. Below. In the sequel, What Lurks Beneath. That's why it's with the bees. Uh, Beneath Still Waters, which is like an H.P. Lovecraft story based off a movie. It's like a novelization. Black Death. Just like the rat book. I've heard it was. The Blob, which is it's in really good condition. I got it at a cheap price off of Amazon before it skyrocketed, man. It just blew, boo, boo, boom. Now let's go to the very top. Let me put these over here. And here we go. I have David Morales' Blood Oath, which I'm currently actually reading First Blood. It's really good waiting for the next movie to come out. Uh, the Blood Snarl by Ivor Watkins. Love that cover. Uh, two copies of Blood Worm, which I don't, if I have two copies, I usually don't put them both on the shelf. But look at that awesome cover art. And this one too. Come on. I had to have them both up here. Clive Barker's Cable. The Cabin in the Woods by Tim Levin. Carnosaur by Harry Adam Knight. Good read. A lot better than the movie. Lee Clark's Carnivore. Uh, Penelope Bank of Kreps Carnivores. Carrie by Stephen King. Christine by Stephen King. Cocoon by uh, David Saperstein. Sounds looks like. That was a hard book to find, but I found out I know of all places of Salvation Army. The Congo by Michael Crichton. Michael Crichton. Brian Keane's The Conquer Worms, which has a ridiculous cover. I love it. Cowboys and Aliens, the novelization. The Crone, which I just wanted this so bad. Because look at that awesome cover. It's by Bill Carneal. And uh, it's kind of rough, but the condition I mean. So, I'll give my arm a break for a second. Stephen King's Cujo. Croc by David James. There's a neat cover too. The Curse by C.L. Grant, which uh, found a Salvation Army. Damon, which is like, has rape in it, I know. After I heard. See, Terry Klein Jr. wrote that book. Forgot the cover was so bland. Oh well. Stephen King's The Dark Half, The Day of the Animals novelization, Day of the Beasts, which I found out of Salvation Army. I need to find a better conditioned copy of Dead and Buried, of oh, the novelization. I can never find one. The Deadly Deep, 
by John Messman. Interesting name. Just gonna rest my arm for a minute. Whew. Need to do more pull ups or something. Deadly Nature by sorry, shoe. Deadly Nature by V. M. Thompson. The Dead Zone by Stephen King. Death Angel by Robert Black. Keeps back in there. The Deep by Peter Benchley, which I actually forgot I had. Hmm. I've been putting all these books away and I forgot that I had that. <laughs> Dean Koontz's Demon Seed, found that out of the Salvation Army. Devil Sharks by Chris Jamison, which is a cool read. Not the best, but. Devourer by Kurt Anderson. Demeter by William Peter Blatty. Dino Croc, the novelization. Oh, man. Disco Death Trap by Cameron Robicue. Awesome book. <clears throat> Dogs by Robert Calder. Which is really rough. This one's even worse. There's Dragon by William Showell. My sandals keep on making these weird noises. So it's true, Brian. It's just your sandals. Stop it. Dream Demon by Ann Bilson. It's an awesome cover. Earth Blood. Is that what it is? Yeah, Earth Blood by James Kissner. It's a really cool cover. It's mainly why I picked it up, even though it was rough. Clive Bar Barker's Everville. The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty. Really good read. Legion. By William Peter Bat Blatty. This also has a, as I call them, gatefolds, I believe. Wait, no, it doesn't. I'm a fool. No gatefold for you. Oh, 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 oh. No gatefold for you. Alright, now we're down to the second shelf. You finally sit down again. Whew. I knew this was going to be challenging. But my God, man. You mad, man. Then we have Extinct by Charles Wilson, I believe. Yes, Charles Wilson. You can read, Brian. It's okay. Flesh Bait by uh, David Holman and Larry Price. Which was written by two people. Now, this is the stuff I got from the guy who also gave in through in the Fangoria magazine from 1988 and the lobby cards. He got, I got Friday the 13th, the novelization. Really insecure rap. Can't have it any other way. Friday the 13th, part two, the novelization. Friday the 13th, part three, novelization. The second audition of Friday the 13th, part three, which is actually different than the other one, and Friday the 13th, part six. All in mint condition. I also have Jason X and Freddy vs. Jason. Then I have The Fog, the novelization based off the John Carpenter film. Richard Lehman's Fright Night and Beast House. Dean Koontz's The Fun House, which I thought was based off the uh, Toby Hooper, Hooper film, but I don't think it is. Stephen King's Gerald's Game. Ghost Story by Peter Straub, I believe. No, it's not Peter Straub, is it? Yeah, it is. I'm dumb. Gila by Les si Simons. Simmons. I love that cover. Can't wait to read that someday. Godzilla the novelization. Godzilla King of the Monsters novelization. Gulf Curse, which is by Cameron Robicky, who wrote Disco Death Trap. Haven't read this one yet, but I really want to. The Great Wall, the novelization. Gremlins, the novelization. Gremlins 2, the novelization. Grizzly, which is actually a lot more bloody than the movie. Halloween 3 novelization. I want to get the other ones, but I don't have them yet. Halloween 2018 novelization. Switch Arms. Halloween Land by uh, Al Saratonico. Artonico? What? I don't know. The Hand of Cain by Martin Thompson. Or Thomas, I'm sorry. Speaking of Thomas, we have Red Dragon by Thomas Harris. Silence of the Lambs by Thomas Harris. Hannibal by Thomas Harris. And Hannibal Rising by Thomas Harris. Uh, the only reason Red Dragon is first is because I know it's the first part and the first one that was released. Uh, Hellboard by Dana Reed. I'm going to hold this better. Hellboy by 
plus a novelization. I know. Ah, Hellboy 2, the Golden Army novelization. As well as the Hills of Ice 2, part 2, sorry, novelization, which I bet you didn't even know existed. A lot of these books I bet you didn't even know existed. But, uh, I'm not here to judge. Horns by Joe Hill. Horror, I'm sorry, Hounds of Dracula. I know this is a novelization, I believe. Hunger by William R. Dance, which is a lot like Deep Lucy. The Hunger by Whitley Stryber. Hunting Season by John Coyne. I Know What You Did Last Summer by Lois Duncan. Yeah, Duncan. Now this will be easier now, because it's lower. Uh, let's see. The Incredible Melting Man novelization. Independence Day. <laughs> novelization invasion of the body snatchers which actually i found out of the salvation army really recently it's alive and it lives again novelizations which are really good jaws 2 novelization jaws the revenge novelization i have jaws novelizations but i want to find an old edition i've been trying to for years it's not that easy uh, the jersey devil by hunter shea who is an awesome author Junkyard by Barry Porter. Love that cover. Jurassic Park and The Lost World by Michael Crichton. Killer by Peter Tonkin. This is a really good survival horror story. Kill River, which I love. This is by Cameron Robicue as well. Great book, and I heard this one's even better. Kill River 2, which has a really cool cover. Kodiak. It's about a killer bear. Uh, by Matthew McCoy. No, sorry. Malachi McCoy. King Kong, the 1933 novelization. It's a 1976 edition, I believe. King Kong, the uh, based off the 2005 movie. Con Skull Island. I've read all the con books. The Con Skull Island's actually really good. Really, really good. It's a lot more bloody, too. Kingdom of the Spiders. Novelization, Kiss of Death, which is one of the first ones I found out of the Salvation Army. Uh... I found this one for a dollar. Kronos by Jeremy Robinson. I've heard kind of mixed things. The Lake by R. Carl Largent. Oh, my arm. Gotta get this done, though. The Legacy by... This is even by. It doesn't even tell you. Interesting. Oh, John Coyne. Leviathan by John Gordon Davis. Let me back up a little bit. <laughs> the Lock and Voss Talk by Steve Alton. Speaking of Steve Alton, I do have the Meg novelization, but I don't know exactly where it is. Uh, there's The Trench, Primal Waters, Hell's Aquarium, and Night Stalkers. I have Generations, but that's only in hardcover. Then I have Megalodon by... Robin Brown, 200 feet long, yeah, okay. The Mist by Stephen King, Misery by Stephen King, Monster by Jeffrey Konovitz, Con Konovitz. The Montauk Monster, Hunter Shea again. Moon of the Wolf by Leslie H. Whitton. It's actually, uh, it was made into a TV movie. All right, let's go down one. The More Grow Rises, or More Go Rises by Peter Tremaine, told you you'd come back in. Uh, Needful Things by Stephen King. Nightcore, also by Peter Tremaine. The Night Boat by R Robert R. McCammon. Oh, my arm. Night Shift by Stephen King. Uh, Night Demon by Billaby. I don't know. It's an African name, I know. Dean Koontz by Odd Thomas. Oh, no. Dean Koontz is Odd Thomas. That'd be funny. Of Unknown Origin, which is actually a really good read. Ogre by Mark Ronson. Then I have The Omen. Omen 2. Omen 3. Omen 4. And Omen 5, which are all... Great gory reads. 
The Other by uh, Thomas Tryon. Pacific Rim novelization, as well as the sequel, Uprising. The Pack, which is going to get released by Valancourt Releasing, which I just found out today, actually, at the, the time of recording this. Uh, Parliament of Blood by Scott Seneson. It's a really cool cover. Whew. Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. Phantoms by Dean Koontz. The Pike by Cliff Twelmwell. What they tried to make a movie. They kind of did in the 90s, actually, but it wasn't much like the book. Piranha, the novelization, which is a lot of fun, like the movie. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, War for the Planet of the Apes novelizations, uh, Prank Night by David Robbins. It's kind of a really small, cool cover. Um, the Predator novelization, the Predator prequel novelization, and the, the Predator novelization, which that's actually a really cool cover. Uh, Prophecy in the Best Condition I Can Make It. By David Seltzer, who also wrote The Omen. The Predators by Mark Washburn and Robert Webb. I think it's about like a shark and a polar bear that are pitted against each other. <clears throat> Rabid by David Ann. The Rage by. What the hell is this by? Oh, Jack Ramsey. I think I heard his name in this video already. The Rats by James Herbert. It's sequel layer. I need to get um, Domain at some point. Rattlers by Joseph L. Gilmore. Razorback, which is a great, oh, it's crappy novelization actually. Rising by Brian King. Two more to go. The Others by D.M. Wind. Wind. Uh, Predator. Uh, the Rage War, one, which is Alien the second, Alien vs. Predator Armageddon, Relic, and Reliquary, I haven't gotten any of the others, uh, Resident Evil novelization, one, two, three, five, and six, because they didn't make one for four, I don't think, Riptide by Donald D. Chatham, which is a kind of crappy book. Stephen King's Salem's Lot. The Sandman by Linda Crockett. I got this one recently, that's why it's still in plastic. Sasquatch, the a Monster of North Wood, Wood, Northwest Woods by H.E. Knair. Awesome cover. Uh, Scanners novelization, Scanners 2 novelization. They didn't make one for the third. I wonder why. A Scorpion, which is kind of terrible condition, but I got it for free. So, from all, um, all the lost books. Scorpion, the second generation. These are both by Michael R. Lenecker. Dean Kuntis Sees the Night. James Herbert's Spectre. Shadow by Shadowland by Peter Tremaine. I gotta get this light on here better. Shark Island by Chris Jamison, which is a good one. I haven't read the newest one, which is Shark Beach by Chris Jamison, but uh, Doctor Sleep by Stephen King. And I actually mix those around because The Shining is right here. I put it backwards. Good thing I caught that. The Silence by Tim Levin, which I think was made into a movie. John Soul's Sleepwalk. Ah, almost dropped you. Slimer by Harry Adam Knight, which is actually a pseudonym. I don't remember his real name. Jonathan Hawkins' Slither. Slugs by, uh... I know the name. I can't... It's at the tip of my tongue. Sean Houston. Sorry. As well as its sequel, Breeding Ground by Sean Houston. Come on. Now we are on the last shelf. 
So we have Snakes on a Plane, Snow Beast by Peter Tremaine, Snowman by Norman Bogner, Sean Houston's Spawn, which I didn't even know I had that. Damn. Squirm by Richard Curtis. I actually have two editions of that. Starship Troopers by Robert R. Heinlein. The Store by Bentley Little. Those team team, actually. Swamp Thing Novelization. Return of Swamp Thing Novelization. But that's actually the first one. I just picked it up again. Here's the Return of Swamp Thing. Syndicate by John F. Mees. Anne Rice's The Tale of a Body Thief. Demon Knight, Tales from the Crypt novelization. Simon Chandler's Tendrils, which is actually a really cool cover. Terror at Sea, which is a story about the Indianapolis. The Thing novelization. Thinner by Stephen King. I'll go a little bit quicker now. Tortures of the Damned by Hunter Shea. Uh, Unholy Ghost by Claudia Davidson. The Unholy Smile. I have to skip authors. The Uninvited. Uh, Usher's Passing. Interview with a Vampire. The Vampire Lestat and Queen of the Damned. The Vampire Virus. The Void. Try and get light on here. Willard. Ben. The White Buffalo. Creature, which is also known as White Shark by Peter Benchley. The Wolfen, which I want to get a lot more covers of that book because I love covers. The Wolf Man. The Wolf Hour. Two copies of Worm, which is that cover, and that cover, and last but not least, Zoo, and Zoo 2. Damn. Alright, so those are all my paperbacks. Whew, that was a lot of work. I'm happy to have finally done it. So yeah. Thank you all for watching, and Lion Brian Gatto, the horror show host. Make sure to like, comment, and share on this video, as well as hit that notification bell to be updated every time I make a new video. And to like my Facebook fan page and support me on Patreon, the links to those two sites are in the description below. And to leave comments and subscribe.